Hey all, here are OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at the Govi Flow Pro. This is a smart light bar for monitors and TVs, and so basically you would attach it onto the left and right sides, and in conjunction with a camera sensor that is on the top of your monitor, it will be able to know what the dominant color of the screen is, and it will try to match the color of the light to be in the same shade, claiming here to expand your gaming and also entertainment world. So this sells for around 70 bucks for a pair that comes with two, as well as the camera sensor on the top, and that's actually about half the price of the closest competitor. That is the Hue Play Light Bar, and this particular version from Philips actually sells for $70 for only one light. So if you pick up a pair of two like this, it would sell for around 140 bucks. So it's Wi-Fi connected, and they call this a RGBIC which means you can show multiple colors at once. So it doesn't have to only be green or blue, you can actually create a rainbow effect if you wanted to. There's also several different ways to mount it, either on the back of the TV to hide it from view or from the side. Right on top, it'll also show you how to mount things and set it up. So for example, on our variant here, we have it snapped onto the stand version, but you can also remove it from this plastic portion just by sliding it out. And we have just the light bar itself, which is pretty lightweight, constructed out of polycarbonate plastic. Alternatively, here is the other adapter if you want to mount it onto the back of a TV using this 3M sticky pad, uh, and it will just stick on like that. And again, it just snaps into the sides of the lamp like that instead. Then aside from the user manual, we also have a small control box that kind of links the cables together. So basically the two light bars will connect into this using the USB port. And then the other end here will plug into the wall using the socket. So it basically provides the uh, power needed to turn on the lights. But in the middle section here, it also allows you to switch them on or off, uh, as well as go through some of the lighting modes like brightness levels, if you don't want to use the companion app or use voice assistant. Now there is also a microphone built onto the control box along with a Wi-Fi chip inside. So the mic will allow it to also react to music. And then there's actually one other cable that can be connected and that is going to the camera sensor part. It can be stuck onto the top of your TV using a 3M tape constructed out of just polycarbonate plastic and overall very lightweight. So here we have things mostly set up. We just have to calibrate it for the sensor, the camera to know how large your monitor is. So this is an extra accessory that's also in the box where you can tape these squares onto the outer edges of your monitor for it to sense the dimensions and then it will be ready to go. It looks kind of strange, but now in the Govi app, we can proceed with the calibration by tapping on ready. Uh, with the sensor now is on the top. We can also mount it on the bottom, by the way, for another orientation, but right now we are satisfied. Here's a snippet of what the camera is seeing in real time. We're going to drag these little dots to be on the same position as the yellow stickers, basically the borders of our display. Now we're turning to the home screen after sharing the Wi-Fi password of the lamp, so it's now being connected to the internet. We're able to turn it on if we wanted to just by pressing on this key, and you can see it's fully lit up looking quite dramatic here, and some of the other things that we're able to do uh, include the ability to change the mode. So if you're in the video mode, basically it will try to calibrate the color according to what the monitor is seeing, but right now the monitor is off, so it's not doing too much. But we also can choose a music dancing mode or a reactive mode, so it's now going to be bouncing to the rhythm of any sound that it hears using the microphone, and we have quite a few different transition effects that you can pick between. This one is vibrate, this one is a strike mode, again reacting to sound that it hears. This one here is the rhythm effect, and we also have a vivid mode. So it really shows off the vibrancy of these light bars. It's able to go through different colors at different parts on the lamp. And you can also adjust the brightness of the lamp. Right now at 100%, but if it's too bright for us, we can turn it down. So now this is 27%. We can also go all the way down to say just 1%, and now it becomes very faint there in the background, as you can see, but a little easier, in fact, for the camera here to pick it up. And we can also switch now over to the color mode. So you can create a different shade or color for each square if you wanted to. So that's the level of customization that you have. And we also have the ability to go into some scene modes, which are some presets. So there is a reading mode, so you can use this as almost a lamp to get some work done um, if it's used as a monitor lamp. And you also have a movie mode, which just has a colder tone. Here is candlelight, which is more of a red light. There's also a romantic color as well that's more purple, but slowly changing as well. So it's not completely still. It oscillates a bit to give you some dynamic elements, a aura there, which also goes from red to green. Here is a breathing mode that will slowly strobe between the different colors. Here is snowflake, so it just is flashing uh, through blue and white colors. Uh, here is a seasonal effect, which also is very beautiful to look at, green and also yellow and 
kind of the autumn colors there. Bloom is another one that we see that is transitioning there in the background. We also have oscillating, and this one here just crosses between one side to the other side, which is a very interesting effect as well. And here we also have a rainbow, which is just slowly going to the rainbow colors. Uh, the two sides are also different here in terms of the shades that they're producing. A few other special features include a timer, so it can turn off or turn on at different points in time automatically. Uh, you're also able to uh, act as a wake-up light, so it will try to get brighter during the morning, for example, if it's by the side of your bed, or turn off when you go to sleep. Just like their other mood lamps, we have a huge range of all the 16 million different colors that you can actually go through. Even different shades of red are all labeled if you want this granular level of control. Last but not least, you can also control by turning only a single side of the lamp on or off, as you can see there. Uh, so they can be controlled independently of one another. And here's a demo of it pointing away from you. So at the wall, that's going to be the typical orientation that it's in. So it creates an atmosphere light, kind of makes everything glow uh, in the background and makes the monitor kind of stand out a little bit more. We can also crank up the brightness as well if we want it to. Makes the process of watching videos or gaming or even getting work done just a tad more enjoyable. So now we are in the video mode where it's calibrating to the monitor's color that we're seeing uh, and we're also able to change the saturation of the color as well. Let's say we now open up a photo where the left side here is red and green is on the other side we can see the adjustment there being made. It does work a little bit better in darker environments just because if there is too much light that's hitting on the monitor, it can sometimes decrease the accuracy of the sensor because it's an external camera that's looking at it. So if there's a lot of glare on the monitor, it will sometimes also make it harder for the camera to recognize. And it takes a split second sometimes for the effect to snap into focus as you can see there, but overall still is surprisingly good. Showing the capabilities of the sensor in terms of how it's able to create these changes depending on what content you're seeing on the display. Uh, sometimes when the screen is dark though, it will default to a slightly more purplish tint, um, and sometimes white color does tend to also have a slightly more uh, violet tint to it. But as a whole, it still is very immersive, and you can see here in this video where we have a dynamic wallpaper of just colors swirling around. It's uh, being pretty responsive in terms of trying to coordinate the colors of the left and right sides independently to match whatever shade is being uh, focused on the left versus right side of the display, which I do think is really cool. And so this dynamic switching is handled surprisingly well using this camera sensor on the top, uh, and we're able to see, again, one shade versus the other. So so very nice and definitely adds to the immersion, almost feels like the screen is larger than the border size here because in the background we're still seeing the same dominant colors that we're visualizing on the display. The keyword here though is still dominant color because it will pick up again what is the majority of the shading on the left and right side and share that onto the light bars. So if you are looking at an image that has a rainbow effect, it will just try to calibrate it to whatever is the strongest color that's showing off, um, you know, having the largest proportion of the screen screen taken up by it. Case in point, here is a more realistic footage that has um, more dynamic uh, elements on the screen. Right side is more yellow because of the canyon versus left side is more blue, but there also still might be other colors going on, but since those were the most dominant, that's how it was able to calibrate it. It's pretty clever in how it works though, since the camera sensor is external, it basically works with any monitor, uh, regardless of the screen size. You can have a giant 100 inch TV and it will still do the same trick, uh, since it has a very wide angle lens, regardless of what operating system that you're running running, what monitor you're having, since everything is external, basically just plug it into power and you're ready to go. Here's our hands-on review of the Govi Flow Bar Pro, and as a whole I am really impressed here just because of just how well it works, and it really is such a cool lighting accessory. It might seem a bit niche at first, but once you start trying it out, it does add an additional layer of immersion to any uh, video watching or gaming experience. So ultra customizable, just really fun to play around with. And what's also impressive is that they continue to push software updates to these light bars via their app. Uh, so for example, the current function that we're seeing here, which is the ability to show two colors at once, one for the left and one for the right side, actually didn't come originally with the release of these light bars. It was pushed via an update just a few days ago. So that shows commitment on their side to continue to making this product even better. So you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below, but for now that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. It's been a closer look at the incredibly cool Govi Flowbar Pro light bar accessory.